Council had a busy session on Monday, February the 22nd. There was a presentation to Council providing an overview of the recently completed Road Maintenance Modernization Review from Dillon Consulting Limited. This was funded by the province through Municipal Modernization Program. Council has asked staff to review the recommendations provided and in consideration with funding availability and other township priorities, they're requested to develop a plan for Council to consider move forward on the high priority recommendations. Several advisory and steering committees to Council brought forward their 2021 work plan and I'm thankful that our community is fortunate to have such a wonderful group of volunteers who are dedicated to making a difference in the community. Thank you to all the members on our advisory and steering committees and local boards for your time and you're doing a phenomenal job. Just look at their work plans, you will be impressed. Council also approved the 2021 operating budget. Your Scugog property tax bill is allocated across three service levels, the Township of Scugog, Durham Region, and the school boards. The total increase this year will be 2.58%, with 1.5% going to Scugog, primarily to support investing in our roads and other infrastructure, allowing us to continue offering the programs and services you value. I will add that the Region of Durham approved their budget on February the 24th at Regional Council. COVID update. On February the 16th, 2021, the province moved Durham Region to the red control level in the COVID framework. This allows many of our local businesses to reopen with COVID measures in place. Our local businesses, business owners and staff are our friends, our neighbors, and our family and are a vital part of our community. They support our sports teams, our fundraisers, our township events and charities, and so much more. Now more than ever before, they need our support. With regards to municipal services, they will continue to be available virtually in the red control level. Staff are available by email, phone, virtual meetings, and the drop boxes remain available at the back entrance at the, at the municipal office. At the Scugog Community Recreation Center, the ice was removed on January the 16th when the province's stay at home order was put into place. Therefore, at this time, ice programs will not be available. The Scugog Community Recreation Center, including the Lookout Youth Center, will remain closed. In person and virtual spring recreation programs are anticipated to begin April the 5th. We have finalized the agreement with the Region of Durham Health to establish a vaccination center at the Scugog Recreation Center. Many of us are spending more time outdoors, including our waterfront area. I would like to say a special thank you to John Mackey at Port Perry Marina for creating the skating area in front of the marina. Many in the community are enjoying the skating oval. I will add an important reminder that residents be respectful of the space leave two meter distance between each other, wear your masks even when outside, and follow all the COVID-19 regulations. DRPS and Scugog Bylaw will continue to patrol parks and local areas to ensure regulations are being followed. Fire Chief Bernie reminds us that no ice is safe ice and that those looking to snowmobile, skate, or ice fish need to check ice thickness before venturing out. Avoid going out alone and wear the right safety equipment. Parents, please remind kids of winter safety as well. Please do not skate or play on stormwater management ponds. Do not build forts in roadside snowbanks and large snow piles. They may collapse and snow plows going by can be dangerous. Spend time with your families, enjoying the winter activities safely. 